Be like Jonathan Kaminga. Upgrade your game every year and get more playing time. I'm gonna show you how to do it. A lot of coaches are basing this game off of just being able to shoot the ball. So I'm gonna teach you today how to be able to shoot the ball and what you need to do. Like what drill should you add to your daily repertoire to get in the shooting? The most basic one, our great friend, is form shooting. You wanna keep this simple. You want about 25 reps from each. So right here, two hands, I'm up, I'm working on my rhythm. I'm here, I'm up. So remember, 25, I wanna go baseline, wing, top, wing, baseline. So boom, right there. I'm going, I'm going, I'm going right here, boom. Then I'm taking, I'm taking one step back and I'm going through again. Going through. This is for making sure that your form is perfect. Right here. Shooting the ball is so crucial and a lot of players don't realize that and a lot of players talk about changing their shot, but it takes a lot of reps to change your shot. In the summertime, I recommend getting a thousand makes, not a thousand shots, a thousand made baskets. If you're changing your shot, you should be close getting these thousand makes. And trust me, even though you're close, you will add range. I have players that have changed their shot in one summer and they've been just in that mid range area and now they're shooting over 47% from the field. So watch. So now I come right here, finish up, got my step back. Another one that, that we like to do, master the glass. So at these diagonal spots, get your Dwayne Wade or Tim Duncan on. right here so now I want to master the glass I'm off the glass you want 25 reps from each side close so I'm close at first and then as I go back I work my way back so now I'm back here and you really want to learn that glass and then you go to the other side I'm up I'm at it bang bang now right here is where we start to add stuff to it. So now we wanna add movement to our dribble. So boom, still form shooting. So now I go with the right and the left. I like to do 10 right here from each of the five spots. Each of the five spots again, 10. Then I wanna get into more movement. So now crossover. And as you see, I'm just doing it slow. I just wanna get my body warmed up and used to the motion. So. After I, after I do five and five with the crossover, now between the legs. Then I wanna go behind the back. So after I do all that, now I wanna make sure I'm coming to the top of the key. Now we wanna start, we wanna start working on our speed style. So boom, pull up, jump. Pull up, go get your ball. work our way around there. Now we want to put movement on it. Now we want to start working on our step backs. Yeah. 
So over here, we want to get like Dwayne Wade, one of my favorite players, and work on our crackbacks. So. That's just a quick little workout. See, I'm already starting to get a sweat. That's how warm you want to be before game, before practice. You put your own reps to it if you can. Try to get 200, 250 quick reps before practice. If it's after practice or in the morning before school, try to get 500. Work that into your system. Becoming a great consistent shooter is hard. It takes time, it takes reps, but it will get you more playing time because coaches want guys in the games that can hit shots. We have to stop with this notion that, you know, just going to the, you know, getting to the layup is the thing. You got to change your game and you got to get with the times. Right now, being able to shoot the ball is the big thing. You got to put in work. If you want a college scholarship, if you want to make it to the pros after whatever level, you have to get better every day, every year. It just can't be at practice. You got to take yourself above and beyond. If you have any questions on this, feel free to DM us comment below or email us. We're always here. We're all, we're here for you. All right. I'll see you wolves next time. As always, apply pressure.